guys and welcome to another tier list video. I am your host BC Kane and today we are going to rank every single mainline Mario Kart game from Mario Kart on the SNES to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. However, before we start there are four games I want to talk about real quick and that is all the Mario Kart arcade titles and Mario Kart Live Home Circuit because I have not played these games at all. Didn't own an arcade machine when I was growing up, didn't ever go to the arcade to play these games, and I did not care for Home Circuit at all. So real quick, we're going to put Mario Kart Arcade GP, Mario Kart uh, Arcade, we're going to put Live um, blah, 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 that game, uh, we're going to put this one, and that's it. So yeah, didn't play these games, uh, here they're good in some ways, but uh, yeah, I didn't play them myself. So with that said, let's get the official tier list started. I am sorry Retro Mario Kart fans, I do not like Super Mario Kart. The controls are awful, The it does not age well at all, um, the tracks are boring, uh, the CPU is bullcrap, um, the music is solid I guess, but um, for me this is easily the, uh, the lowest ranking Mario Kart on this list, besides the did not play obviously. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be a D for me. I, it has its merits. It did start the franchise, but, um, again, the, the tracks are not great. Um, the controls are a mess. Drifting freaking sucks in this game. I do not like it. Uh, CPU is hard. Um, but yeah, without this game, there would be no Mario Kart, so I'll give it that. But if I had to rank it compared to every other Mario Kart that I've played... It would be the lowest. I don't like Super Mario Kart. We'll never go back to... Oh, or, sorry. I will not go back to it unless I have to. But, for right now, I have no plans to play this game ever again. So, uh, sorry Mario Kart SNES fans. But, this is my lowest ranked uh, Mario Kart that I have played. So, I've heard the term overrated thrown around a lot uh, with Mario Kart 64. And, to an extent, I kind of agree. It's not really as good as people think it is, but it's still a really good Mario Kart. Uh, it has one of the best battle modes, in my opinion, with the bomb cars, and some of the tracks are very, very iconic. Uh, iconic racetracks like uh, Yoshi Valley. We got the classic Rainbow Road. We have, um, uh, what is it, Moo Moo Farm. We have uh, Calamari Desert. So, a lot of good ones, but... Like the first game, the controls are not that great. Drifting is also kind of bad in this game. And the CPU is just as bullcrap as it was in Super Mario Kart. Um, but yeah, it's still a lot of fun. I love this Mario Kart. But uh, if I had to rank it honestly, I wouldn't put it in C, but I wouldn't put it above a B for me. It's a, it's a very good Mario Kart, but not really quite to an A tier for me. So I do agree it's a bit overrated. But I love a lot of the tracks. Uh, it's just the two main things are the controls are not that great, like I said. And the CPU can be pretty hard. Um, the music is also pretty iconic. Like the Rainbow Road music. We have the Yoshi Valley music. Uh, Calamari Desert. Uh, but yeah, if the controls were better and the CPU wasn't as rubber bandy as it was, I'd probably put it in A, maybe S. But uh, for right now, I think 64 is a great game, but uh, it is a solid B, maybe B plus for me. So Super Circuit's a weird one because it is the first handheld Mario Kart title and it plays well, but the controls, once again, are not that great. Drifting, once again, is pretty awful to pull off. Uh, the controls in general are kind of messy. Uh, the tracks are a lot better than 64 and, uh, especially SNES in some cases. Like, we have, uh, Ribbon Road, we have Cheese Land, um, and also we have Retro Tracks. We have all the tracks from the first game brought back, which, uh, I guess was, is a cool idea, but not really because that game kind of sucked. But, um, I, I kind of enjoy Super Circuit, but, um... I would rank it just above Super Mario Kart, so I'm, I'm going to put it in like a C tier. It's not a bad game, but it is definitely not as good as 64 in my opinion, plus the other titles we'll, which we'll get to in a second. Um, is there a battle mode? I think there is, but I didn't really remember playing it that much. Um, but yeah, tracks are good. CPU can be um, fairly hard. They're not as hard as the first two games, in my opinion, but they can still be a bit challenging on the hard difficulties. Um, but yeah, the controls are just, they're just messy again. Um, 
drifting sucks once again. Um, oh, oh my god. So, the reason why the first three games don't hit for me that, that hard is because of one feature. The retry button. I cannot stand the retry button. What that, uh, if you guys don't know, you have to place fourth or higher in every race to then move to the next one. If you place fifth or lower, you have to retry the course. And if you lose all three of your chances to get fourth or higher, you start the whole Grand Prix over again. I hate this idea. Like, I do not care if I get last place in one of the courses. Let me move on. I Don't make me restart the whole course or the whole Grand Prix just for that one course. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Like, I just, I cannot stand the retry button. I hate it. It sucks, but... Uh, back to Super Circuit. It's it's a solid game. Don't love it that much, so it's a solid C tier, but for the first handheld Mario Kart, it did its job. It was fun to play in handheld, so that's fun, but uh, yeah, definitely one of the lower ranking Mario Karts for me personally. You guys already know, at least hopefully, but I freaking adore Mario Kart Double Dash. This was my childhood game. The first game I ever really fell in love with as a kid. I played this all the time on my GameCube. I still have it right here. I am touching the same console I played Mario Kart Double Dash for the first time on. That's crazy, right? But, um... Yeah, Double Dash is a weird but fantastic Mario Kart. It has two drivers which you can swap between to use different items. Uh, we have special items for certain characters. We have a, a pretty good character roster. A pretty good battle mode. Lots of great courses like DK Mountain. Yes! Um, we have, uh, what else? We have Don or Dino, Dino Jungle, I should say. We have uh, Mushroom City. Please come back one day. Uh, Mushroom Bridge. We have Yoshi Circuit. Um, yeah, just a lot of great tracks in this one. Plus, the controls are so much better than the first three games, in my opinion. Uh, no more retry button. Thank God, I hate that feature so freaking much. Um, but yeah, like, Double Dash is like the most creative Mario Kart that they've released, I feel like. Because, again, two drivers, the way the game works is fantastic, double item boxes. Um, so, yeah. However, I do love this game, but I will admit it's not an S tier. But it's definitely an A+. I love this game, but the controls can be a bit divisive. I have no issue with them, but I understand why people don't uh, necessarily love them. They can feel a bit loose at times. Um, and yeah, not the best battle mode, but it's pretty solid overall. Um, a lot of good battle tracks in that one too. So, while I want to put in S tier, I don't think it's quite there. Like, personally I would, but if I have to rank these, um, honestly, um, it is an A+, but not quite an S. But, still a great game. Love this game to death. I love Double Dash. Hope you do too, because this is one of the best Mario Karts of all time. I don't care what all the haters say. I love Mario Kart Double Dash. So I've debated for years which game I like more, DS or Double Dash, because I love both of these games a lot. However, I do think that DS has more to offer than Double Dash. The number one thing being the mission mode. It is the only game that has mission mode. It was such a fun, a fun time to go through. Uh, we had bosses in that one. It was such a cool idea, and then they just got rid of it entirely. Like, why Mario Kart? I love Mission Mode. Please bring it back. Um, oh man. The tracks in this game are some of the best Mario Kart tracks of all time. TikTok Clock, Delfino Square, Waluigi Pinball, um... What else was there? Uh, Peach Gardens. We had, um... Uh, I'm trying to think. It's blanking on me. Uh, we had Wario Stadium. We had, um... God, it's like blanking on me. Um, I can't think of more, but I'm just, I'm, I'm blanking, sorry. Uh, however, it does have the worst starting course in the series, being Figure 8 Circuit. That track is extremely boring. Um, so that's kind of a dent on the game. But, uh, this game lets you make your own racing emblem, and that's pretty cool. You, you can make your own emblem and put it on your cart for all the races. That's kind of cool. The battle mode is pretty cool, too. We have, like, Twilight House, that one island course. Um, probably still not the best battle mode. I think 64 owns that, or owns that honor still, but still a pretty solid battle mode. Um, a pretty weird but good roster. We had Rob the Robot. That's kind of neat. 
um, Dry Bones, we had, uh, yeah, not the best roster, but it was weird in a good way. Like, again, Rob alone is a pretty good choice. Like, I don't think anyone really expected Rob to be in this game, but he was, and he's cool. He's cool to use. So, um, yeah, a, a lot of good vehicles, too. We had the, um, the Dry Bomber, of course, my favorite. We had the, the Excavator one. We had, uh, the B-Dasher, so iconic. Um... But yeah, DS for me, it's above Double Dash. Like, I think in some areas I do prefer Double Dash over DS. I think the controls in Double Dash are kind of on par with DS, but I think DS has slightly better drifting. Um, but yeah, it's an S game. Like, DS is fantastic. Like, it is, it is what Super Circuit wishes it was, if I have to be honest. Like, DS is just the handheld Mario Kart title that we needed in our lives, and it delivered in spades. So, DS is fantastic. Easy S tier. Um, it was close between Double Dash and DS, but I think DS does, um, outdo Double Dash for me, but, um, yeah. Mario Kart DS, very solid S tier. I think Mario Kart Wii has gotten pretty divisive over the years. Um, I love it. But I can see why people don't. Uh, the number one thing being the motion controls. You don't have to use them, but they are, like, the main way to play this game. And they're not exactly the best, but they are good. It's just, um, the motion can be a bit inaccurate, at least if you're using an older controller in the, in, uh, the current age. Um... The battle mode is kind of bland, not like in a bad way, but it's not really that memorable for me. Um, however, we have 12 racers now, that's cool, instead of 8. Um, however, I think that might be a bit too much for battle mode, but the races are fine with uh, 12 players. Uh, as far as the tracks, we have a lot of iconic ones. We have Maple Treeway, we have, um, uh, what else, DK Summit, Rainbow Road, one of the best Rainbow Roads in my opinion. Uh, the best Bowser's Castle. I love that Bowser's Castle track. It's one of the best. It's probably the best Bowser's Castle in my opinion. Um, a pretty good- Oh my god, the roster in this game is fantastic. We had the Miis come in. We had my boy Funky Kong. We had Diddy Kong. We had, um, uh, who else? Birdo, Yoshi. All the graces came back and they added more to it. Rosalina came for the first time. That was cool. Um... Yeah, Mario Kart Wii is great, but definitely not an S tier. I would say for me personally, it's probably an A minus because again, the motion controls can be kind of, kind of whack in, in some cases. Um, again, the battle mode's kind of bland overall, but very solid tracks. Very uh, one of the best rosters of any game in the series, um, and it's sold incredibly well. It has like what over a hundred or like. 30 or 20 30 million copies sold as of right now, so that's pretty insane. Although 8 Deluxe did demolish it, so sorry about that, Mario Kart Wii. Um, but yeah, one of the most iconic Mario Karts out there, easily. Like, oh, CTGP. I never did it as I never got to do it, but uh, custom tracks were a pretty big trend back in the day, so I'm sad I missed it, but I understand how I can or how um, good it is from what I've heard about it. Uh, but yeah, Mario Kart Wii is a solid A-, minus. not quite as good as Double Dash or DS for me personally, but still a great Mario Kart, and I enjoy it. I feel like Mario Kart 7 might be the most average Mario Kart of the bunch. Not in, like, a bad way, but, um, not a lot of people talk about it these days. And that's kind of sad, because I enjoy 7 a lot. We have underwater driving at it for the first time, we have gliding... Um, you can customize your own car for the first time. That's great. Uh, the track designs are pretty damn good. We have the best Rainbow Road in the entire series. I don't care what you guys say. That's the right opinion. <laughs> um, Neo Bowser City, Piranha Plant Slide. Um, what else? We had, uh, Wario's Galleon. Um, we had Rock Rock Mountain, Rosalina's Ice World. A lot of solid tracks in this one. Uh, the roster is also kind of weird, once again, like Wii was, or I guess, the, or not Wii, uh, DS, sorry. We had the Honey Queen from Mario Galaxy in this game? Like, what? Nobody saw that coming. Uh, Metal Mario, we had, um, uh, who else? I'm trying to think. Oh, Wiggler. Wiggler was a character, like, what? And Lakitu was a character? 
it, it was a weird roster, but it was weird in a good way, once again, like DS was. So that was cool. Uh, battle mode is pretty mid. Not the best, but it's fun. I enjoyed it. Um, sorry, excuse me. Oh, there was no versus mode for some reason, because DS and Wii had a versus mode, right? But this game doesn't. And, uh, that's kind of weird. Not really sure why. Um, so yeah, Seven's just kind of, it's, it's good, but not great overall. It is, it is on the verge of being mid, but I think it's just above that. Um, I would put maybe 7 below 64, but definitely above Super Circuit, so probably a B-. minus. Still a good Mario Kart, but, um, compared to other Mario Karts, it doesn't really offer as much. But, uh, it's a solid game, and I enjoyed it, so there you go. Mario Kart 7 is a B-. minus. So now we have Mario Kart 8 and 8 Deluxe, and because there are a lot of differences between each, um, we're gonna rank them separately. So let's talk about the original Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Um, it is a gorgeous and pretty looking game. However, there is one thing that really ruins this game for me, and that is the battle mode. This is by far, in my opinion, the worst battle mode in the entire Mario Kart franchise. Because they reused the game's main racetracks instead of giving us unique arenas like every other Mario Kart did. Not sure why they did that. Maybe it was because of development time. I don't know, but it sucks. I don't like it. I played it like once or twice and never touched it again. That's how bad it was. Um, but yeah, the, the tracks are insanely good. We have uh, Wario Mount, or sorry, Mount Wario, I should say. We have Sunshine Airport, Electrodrome. We have, um, uh, what else? We have uh, Bone Dry Dunes was one. Uh, sorry, I'm blanking so much, I apologize. Um, oh, probably one of the best starting courses in any Mario Kart. We had Mario Kart Stadium. That was a solid starting course. I love that one. Um, we had Thwomp Ruins. Uh, oh my god, the music was fantastic. And the retro tracks. Like, before every other, before this Mario Kart, I should say, um, the retro tracks were just kind of upscaled, but not really remade. This game, though, went all out with the retro tracks. They are not just upscaled ports. They are remade entirely. Like, Wario Stadium from DS is literally unrecognizable. Like, what they did for that course is crazy. And, of course, N64 Rainbow Road. Holy crap. Talk about a remake. And the music is fantastic. Um... But yeah, just a pretty gorgeous game, and it plays phenomenally well. However, the battle mode will lessen the score by a lot, because I love battle mode more than the racing, or er, um, if you guys didn't know. So, um, for Mario Kart on the, on the, uh, the Wii U, this is a hard one. It's definitely not an S. Definitely not an S. Um, probably an A? Um, you know what? Uh, unpopular opinion, below Wii for me. Below Wii. Again, the original game, not the remake, we'll get, or the port, we'll get to that in just a second. But, uh, original Mario Kart 8, the battle mode sucked that bad. And, um, it was light on content, too. Like, the races, we had DLC, but, uh, we'll, we'll get to Deluxe in a second. But, um, yeah, you know what? Unpopular opinion, Mario Kart 8 on Wii U is below Mario Kart Wii. Um, I know some of you might put it above Mario Kart Wii, and that's understandable, but for me, uh, we had more to offer than the original Mario Kart on the Wii U. But as far as Deluxe, we'll get to that in just a second. But, uh, yeah, Mario Kart on the Wii U, fantastic game, looks great, but Battle Mode completely ruined it for me. And it is light on other content in some cases, but still an A game, I loved it. And, uh, yeah, Mario Kart 8, a, like an A or A- minus for me personally. So you may notice something kind of weird, and that is that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is on this list twice. Not sure why, but, uh, you know what? Uh, it's an S, if you guys couldn't guess already. Because 8 original was an A, so this has to be an S. Uh, Deluxe offered, um, a lot of changes. Like, we have, um, a much better battle mode, and a Splatoon course on top of that, and a new battle mode, Renegade Roundup. 
I have played so much of that mode. It is such a fun mode. I love it. And they brought back ba ba Bomb Blast from Double Dash, Shine Thief, Balloon Battle, Coin Runners. Fantastic battle mode. Maybe not the best battle mode compared to 64, for example, but still a much better battle mode than the original. It's like a thousand times better than Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Um, they brought back all the DLC from the first game that came with Mario Kart on the Wii U. And, of course, the Booster Course Pass. Like, nobody thought we'd get DLC for a port of Mario of a Mario Kart game, but we did. And it was a fun hype train. We got uh, Waluigi Pinball back. Um, what else? We had Sunset Wilds. We had Riverside Park from GBA. We had Pete's Gardens. Oh, and the Tour Courses. Like, the Tour Courses, for me, are the highlight on the entire Booster Course Pass. Because every lap is different, and it makes for a much better race. Like, I'm saying right now... If they make a new Mario Kart, take that idea where every lap is different and put it onto every single track. If they do that, I will love the next Mario Kart. Please do that, Nintendo. I am begging you. Mario Kart 9, 10, whatever it's going to be, make every race have different laps each time. I will love you for that, so please do that. Um, And yeah, overall, just a... Um, better, uh, visual quality in some cases, better quality of life improvements, uh, you can play in handheld mode, that's cool, um, it's sold incredibly well, it is now the best selling Switch game with, like, 50 million units, that's insane, so, sorry Mario Kart Wii, you held it for, like, over a decade, but you got topped, so, <laughs> that's crazy, um, but yeah, 8 Deluxe to me is the most refined Mario Kart there is, like, um, Will they improve it with Mario Kart, whatever it's going to be? I don't know. But uh, for right now, this game is extremely solid. It plays incredibly well still. Has a lot of new content, a lot of better content. And it's the same game as 8 on Wii U, but just better. So, uh, a, a much improved battle mode, and uh, it's an S for that. So, uh, there you go. So, kind of a damper on this tier list, but we have Mario Kart Tour. Now, right now, it is a lot better than it was when it originally came out, but I stopped playing Tour a long time ago because I could not stand the way the game works. You have to have certain characters, carts, and gliders to do well, and you have to pay money to, like, guarantee you get what you want to get, right? And that's some pretty BS money bullcrap. Like, I don't like that. Plus, the controls, like... I get why it's touchscreen and whatnot, but I don't like racing that way. I'm sorry. It's not for me. I prefer using controllers. Um, so for me, Mario Kart Tour, again, the content is there. We got a lot of uh, character and character outfits. Uh, a lot of cool vehicles. A lot of cool additions. Uh, they brought back some cool tracks. Uh, again, the tour tracks came from here. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the, again, the gotcha mechanic is gone now. But we also have to rank this based on how it was when it first came out. And for a while after that. And during that time, Mario Kart Tour was not a great game. It is now. But again, we have to rank it based on every form the game has taken since it came out. And for a good portion of its lifetime, before they stopped uh, supporting the game, it was not a great game. So, Mario Kart Tour for me is probably above Super Circuit, but definitely below... Um, these two so we're gonna put it in like a C C plus um if I were to rank it r just based on right now if I were to go back and play it based on how it is right now it'd probably be a B tier maybe like an A minus if anything but if we're judging based off of how it was throughout its entire lifetime it's definitely a C or C plus it is not a great game overall um but yeah it was a mobile Mario Kart title it was fun for what it was but it was not great in most cases so Mario Kart Tour is, uh, overall a C or C plus Mario Kart game. And there you go. That is my tier list of every mainline Mario Kart. So, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you agree with my tier list? Do you not agree with it? Do you think I'm full of shit? And, uh, what would your tier list look like? Let me know in the comments below. And, uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the future as far as tier lists go. Do you want to see every Pokemon game? Every Metroid game? Every Animal Crossing game? Every whatever? Uh, let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. But, uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next tier list video. Bye, guys! Hey, hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see another awesome video, as well as one that you might have missed from this week, click the two videos on your left. And make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of future videos. With that said, I'll see you all in the next amazing video.